That would be David Archuleta, we can tell. And David Cook, of course, is the other contender in American Idol. And so we ask Andrea Canning to tell us about the contest there and the contest everywhere else. America has decided that the two people going head to head in our finale next week are Move over, Hillary and Barack. It's now David versus David in the most politically charged race in the land. American Idol is a lot like a presidential primary election. Call it couch potato democracy. You've got super delegates. David Cook wins the night. Caught on tape controversy. Oh, I am so glad. Oh my God, I thought you sang twice. <laughs> Crisis management is key in both American Idol, apparently, and in a campaign. And what would an election be without charismatic candidates? Reporting the text messaging Hannah Montana constituency, 17-year-old David Archuleta. Because he's new, he's young, he's fresh. He's adorable, but very young. Yeah. So will the 25-year-old elder statesman David Cook have what it takes to rock the vote? If David Cook can't present enough difference or change, uh, he may not appeal to the electorate, but perhaps American Idol viewers, uh, they want that safety and security of somebody with a little more experience, a little more years. Cook captured the country's heart when he shed a tear. He's in tears right now. Sound familiar? I just don't want to see us fall backwards. That's not the only Clinton connection in this Idol election. This whole thing is the biggest fairy tale I've ever seen. This week, David Archuleta's dad channeled his inner Bubba, but his overzealous support got him banned from backstage. Sometimes a family member has had the experience and they want so badly to help out their son or their wife as they embark on this new career, but you have to step back and that's a challenge. A challenge that's worth it. After all, there have been 43 presidents, but only six American idols. We just have to see if Saisha endorses a candidate. That's <laughs> <laughs> and how many people vote? Uh, 56 million votes were cast this week. Which Incredible. Is this week. Still yes. a lot less than the presidential election would leave to say. <laughs> <laughs> Scary that we found a way to cross paths with the two things, huh? If we could only get Ryan Seacrest to say, this is the American presidency. Or if you could text your vote, it would really help. Because really? really? you don't have to go to a polling yeah. station, you can just text your vote. That's really true. Yeah. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to abcnews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.